UPS and McDonald's out with earnings, these two companies closely watched as indicators of the health of the U.S. consumer. McDonald's showing consumer strength and traffic despite price increases, while UPS disappointing on weakening consumer demand. Here with his economic forecast, Yahoo Finance's own Josh Schaefer. Hey, Josh, what are you watching? Hey, Rochelle. Yes, I was taking a look at some research out of Bank of America this morning about just a recession as a whole, right, and how priced in that is to the market and sort of what it looks like. And at a historical rate over the last decade, Bank of America research shows that a recession is as expected now as it's ever been. It's actually more respect or more expected now than it has been in the last decade. That's following that light blue line on your screen there. And it's as expected as it should be, I guess I should say, besides COVID-19, right, which is a little bit of an outlier. But also following that, Bank of America is saying how S&P 500 companies are at a healthier point right now if we are already in a recession or headed into a recession than normally expected. So we've been taking a look with over a quarter of the S&P 500 reporting this, or reporting this week. We've been taking a closer look at sort of what we're seeing. And so when you take a look at UPS this morning, UPS, obviously, you pointed out, Rochelle, that stock down almost 10 percent has been dropping all morning. And UPS's numbers came in worse than expected, about in line. And really, the headline, though, was that they see 2023 being bad overall. So they see management saying that volume was, quote, higher, higher than expected in January, closer to our plan in February, but then moved significantly lower in March they see that trend continuing. That trend follows what you've seen broadly from retail sales, of course, too. So UPS sort of saying what you've seen in retail sales and the overall economy has played out for us. They're now guiding for overall revenue for 2023 to fall about 3%. That's UPS. I should point out the other thing with UPS, of course, Rochelle, is we'll get a closer look to e-commerce sales from Amazon, because UPS numbers falling, while that is something to pull from, you do also wonder what Amazon says on Thursday about sales. And then I do want to, I think we want to also hit on McDonald's here. And McDonald's saw growth. McDonald's beat on revenue, beat on EPS. And really the key stat, though, to me from McDonald's was that same store sales number, right? So uh, analysts had expected 7.5%. That number was actually up 12.6%. And the fun part with McDonald's, Rochelle, is we could say, well, McDonald's is recession proof. People are still buying Big Macs and people are still buying French fries. Sure. But the real question is, is that new customers? Is McDonald's same store sales up because people are actually trading down and they're going to McDonald's? I'll point to another earnings uh, release we're waiting for Chipotle today after the bell. That will perhaps give us another look when they also release their same store sales. Are people trading down from a fast casual like Chipotle that's more expensive to something like McDonald's? A lot of different uh, indicators to take in here, of course, but it's fun to track and follow and we're excited to do it, right? I, I love that. And a lot of new ones there when, we, when we're looking at what's happening right. with some of these fast food restaurants. Great stuff there. Our very own Josh Schaefer.